We come together each Sunday, a needy people, a damaged people, a human people, each of us coming to realize that we cannot make it on our own. But we are a faith-filled people, trusting in the Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, who we know is here with us as we gather together. Void by that knowledge, we celebrate the Eucharist today with our sisters and brothers, giving thanks to God, receiving our Lord in his body and blood, and going forth to others, renewed and rejuvenated in our mission as disciples. evening and welcome to our celebration of the fifth Sunday in ordinary time. Let us begin our prayer with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, coming together as God's holy family, and let us now call upon God's love and mercy to heal us and to forgive our sins. Lord Jesus, you you cure the sick, Lord have, mer Lord, Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you drove out demons. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you preach the good news of salvation to the brokenhearted. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy.
us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solemnly, solemnly on the hope of heavenly grace, they, they may be defended always by your protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not man's life on earth a drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who waits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery, and troubled nights have been allotted me. If in bed I say, when shall I arise? Then the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. 
If I do so willingly, I have recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with the stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak, I became weak, to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel so that I, too, may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached grabs her hand and help her up. Then the fever left her and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various disease and he drove out many demons, nothing permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and, and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him and on finding him said, everyone is looking for you. He told them, let us go on the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose I have come. So he went into their synagogues preaching and driving out the demons throughout the whole of Galilee. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. All of our readings on the fifth Sunday in ordinary time are inviting us to bring the good news of the gospel to others. In our gospel today, we heard Jesus' presence always makes difference. Everyone who went and brought up to Jesus felt love and peace. Their life was totally changed 
he did not only preach the good news, the gospel, but he prayed for, them, for those who went up to him and he drove out demons and unclean spirit from those who were sick with various disease. Today, St. Mark, the evangelist, wants us to understand that Jesus is not silent and heaven is not deaf. Jesus wants us to come. He wants to come and visit us in our house like he does with Peter's mother-in-law. He wants us to be safe and to be healed and experience joy, love, and peace. And this is true not only for the people in Jesus' time, but also for us here and now who believe in him and have faith in him. St. Mark tells us that the reason Jesus wants to visit us and heal our grief, wound, suffering, and fear has nothing to do with every good deeds that we have done, but it is because of God's love for us. And this is the purpose Jesus has come. Today, my brothers and sisters, as we heard the words of God, we are called to, remind, to remain set, steadfast in our faith especially when things don't go on our way or when we cannot reach out our expectation. Do not give up on our prayer. Say Father Timothy Lane, a Catholic priest, in one of his reflections says this, the greatest moment for healing is when we receive Jesus in Holy Communion. We are called to not give up on coming to the church and to not give up on doing good and opening our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, especially those who lost their loved ones, those who are lonely, those who are vulnerable, poor, and sick. Jesus reminds us that our life and our presence have to bring a change in the life of others. We are called to make a difference. Mark wants to tell us that our grief, suffering, pain, and wounded are not permanent. It is only temporary. Jesus is here to be with us, to heal us, and to serve us. St. Mark truly wants us to understand, regardless how dark may it seem, Jesus never leaves us alone. He may withdraw, but doesn't mean he is absent. Jesus is present and active in our lives and in our world. Jesus is real. His presence is felt. Results are seen. All is well. Amen. Let us all stand. With confidence, let us now profess our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty.
From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus' disciples brought him all who were sick and suffering, and he, and he healed them. As his disciples, we bring our needs to the Lord and ask for God's healing. For the church, that we may carry on the mission of Jesus Christ, caring for the sick and wounded, the burdened and broken, bringing the strength and comfort of the Lord to them and their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. That our leaders may respond with compassion and assistance to the needs of those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For women who are victims of violence, that they may be protected by society and have their sufferings considered and heeded. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer alone, those without close family and friends, for companionship and support, that they may know the warm and loving embrace of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those who are discerning their vocation in life, that they may open their hearts to a call to consecrated life and be given the courage to respond generously. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who find it challenging to provide for themselves or their families due to unemployment or underemployment or the need to work multiple jobs because of low wages, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For effective and rapid distribution of the COVID vaccine, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of our parishioners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we approach World Day of Prayer for the Sick, we remember all who suffer physical and mental illness, those who are nearing the end of their lives, and all who care for them. For Patty Valdenegro, Jesus Eugenia Coda, Gildardo Gill, James and Eileen Chauvin, Stella Cardoza, Grace Miguel, for all the names in our parish book of the sick, particularly those with COVID-19, for Emmanuel Lopez, Mary Hodgden, Teresa Enriquez, Sandra Coda, Socorro Pacheco Alberto Castro, Maria Gonzalez Lopez, Jasmine Calardo Palafox, Lourdes Palafox, Father Ramon Vasquez, Teresa Quinonez, the Martinez family, Carlos Aguirre, Anthony Munoz, Mercedes Robledo, the Navarro family, Tracy Quick, Benito Peña, 
that Christ's healing power will give them comfort and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our <clears throat> for all the for all who have died, for recently deceased Jack Schaefer, Jose Luis Canarena, Lila Alvarez Vega, Martha Mal Malarkey, Santiago Miranda, Vanessa Santos. Samuel Miranda, Guillermo Jimenez, and particularly those who have died from COVID-19. For Cruz Ortiz, Gregory Lee, Pedro Rodriguez Gonzalez, Aurelio Solis, that Christ will welcome them into eternal joy and give peace to all who mourn their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Loving God, you respond to our suffering with words of compassion and assurance of love and the promise of eternal life with you. Call us in your loving arms. You grant the prayers we make through Jesus Christ our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our sacrifice is ready. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established this, who established the things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that we may become for us, that they may become for us now, and the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed 
by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, royal priesthood, a holy nation, and people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for his disciples, so now for us, he opened the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you, send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify this gift of bread and wine, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night on the Last Supper, Jesus took the bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, he gave you thanks, he gave it, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, on whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed unto us. And granted by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in, who, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity together with Francis our Pope, Kevin our Bishop, and with all the bishops, priests, and deacons, 
and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly. After the example of Christ at his command, and may your church stand as living witness to the truth and freedom, to peace and justice, and that all people may be raised up to new hope. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in the communion with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the martyrs, Saint Philip and Itzi, here in our church, and with all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And together we say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace. Thank you for helping me. Peace with you. Thank you for helping me today. Peace, peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called 
who are called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who are participating in this Mass who cannot receive the Holy Communion. Let us remember them and pray for them the prayer of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please remain seated for a few announcements. If you have your palm, palm branches from last year, Palm Sunday, then please place them in the containers found at the entrance gate over there and right here also. These branches will be burnt and used on Ash Wednesday, and thank you very much. And we will have our schedule for our Ash Wednesday, uh, as Wednesday, Wednesday letter this week, and it will be posted on our website and our Facebook page. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that our that we be partakers in one bread and one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, everybody. Amen.